Welcome back students. Wish everyone is hale and hearty and in your good health. Today in this tutorial, we are going to learn the second stanza of the poem Little by Little of your English textbook Marigold. Yesterday we have discussed the first stanza of it. I hope after watching the tutorial, you have studied the poem, learned it by your heart and wrote it enough times at your home. I also hope that you have learned the spellings and tried to make sentences with the new learned words on your own. If not, then after you finish watching today's class, you will learn both the stanzas together. Remember, the more you will delay, the more the heaps of your task will increase. So, better start now. Okay, so today we are going to learn the second stanza of the poem. But before that, let us quickly recapitulate what we already learned yesterday. So in the first stanza, we have seen that an acorn, which is the seed of an oak tree, is sown in its mossy bed. What is the mossy bed here? The mossy bed means the soil, which is covered with moss. And what is the acorn doing? The acorn is lying inside the ground, sipping the dew. Dew is the other form of water. And slowly, the acorn is growing up. It is saying that the process of its growth might be slow, but it is non-stop. We might not see the way it is growing now, but one day we will notice for sure. As you can see at the three images how the acorn is breaking its shell and getting ready to become a big oak tree. So students, we have learnt up to this much in the last class. And today, we are going to see what the acorn is doing further. How far has the acorn grown? Are we ready to find out? Then let's get started. Read the stanza with me. Downward it sent out a thread-like root. Up in the air sprang a tiny shoot. Day by day and year by year, little by little, the leaves appear. And the slender branches spread far and white till the mighty oak is the forest sprite so what is the first line saying downward it sent out a thread like root we already know what a root is right what is a root this is the root of an acorn seed what does a root do what is the function of a root the root helps the tree to stand tall it holds the ground strongly so that the tree does not uproot when a storm comes. Not only that, the root also helps to absorb minerals and water from the ground for the tree. Now how does the root look like? Like a thread. Have you seen threads? Of course you have. How do these threads feel? Very thin, right? Similarly, the root of that acorn is also very thin and slim. And where is the root going? Downward. We know that roots grow under the ground. So, it will go deeper inside the ground and spread there. So, two new words are here in this line. First is downward. Downward means moving towards a lower place. Look at the picture here. The girls are playing, sitting on a giant pillow and the pillow has moved lower than its original position. So we can say that the pillow sank downward due to their weight. Okay, now the second word is thread-like. It means any object which feels like thread. Here the root of the oak tree feels like a thread. Okay, now move on to the next line. Up in the air sprang a tiny shoot. Now this line is something that you need to understand carefully. First of all, we need to know what is the meaning of the words sprang and shoot. Once we know that, then it will be easier for us to understand the sentence. Sprang. The word sprang is the past tense of, of the word spring, which here means moving or growing speedily upwards like here look at the picture here a girl jumped or moved speedily upwards 
out of happiness we can say this that the girl sprang out of happiness remember there is also another meaning for spring it is the name of one of the six seasons but here in the poem it is not used in in this sense now coming to the next word shoot here shoot means um, germinating now germinating is another tough word to explain it simply we can say that sprouting or shooting means the time when a young branch starts coming out from the seed the picture will help you to understand when this white stems come out of the seeds we call it shooting or sprouting okay the meanings are now clear to us now let us read the line once more and try to understand the meaning up in the air sprang a tiny shoot it means the acorn has started sprouting as it can be seen in the picture shoot is nothing else but a young branch or the stem and in which direction does a stem grow upward right that is why the line says that the tiny stem has come out from the seed and it is going upwards whereas the root goes downwards i hope the first two sentences are clear to you then let's read the next two sentences day by day and year by year little by little the leaves appear now that the roots and shoot have come out from the seed it's time for the leaves to appear at the young branch just like this as it is going to become an oak tree it has to have lot of leaves just like a banyan tree so it's going to take years for the tiny sapling to grow those many leaves it will not happen overnight right so slowly but steadily the leaves will come out one by one and help the sapling turn into a huge tree is it clear till now then moving on to the next lines and the slender branches spread far and wide till the mighty oak is the forest sprite are you noticing students how beautifully the acorn is blooming and becoming a tree first the root then came out the shoot or the stem followed by the leaves and who's turn is now now it is turn for the branches initially it was one main stem but now slowly it is pluralizing and many branches are coming out now this branches will become home to many birds it will provide shelter to many tired pedestrians it will bear the fruits of oak which will further carry the acorn in it right and like this the life cycle of an oak goes on when it is a fully grown tree it looks like this the branches of the tree spread far and wide it covers a huge space it also becomes one of the strongest trees among the world of trees that is why it is mighty which means powerful when the tree stand among all other trees of the forest it stands tall and it can be identified easily because of its strength that is why it is the pride of the forest now let us look at the new words here the first new word is slender slender means slim or thin but there is a slight difference between being thin and being slender look at the picture shown and you will understand both the picture show thin branches of different bushes but we will call the first one thin and the second one slender why because the second one looks graceful we can say that the word slender is used in a more positive sense whereas the word thin carries a negative sense with it moving to the next word mighty mighty means powerful or strong here the oak tree is strong we have an example of mighty happened recently right the mighty storm amphan wrecked our city now use this words to make sentences of your own 
Now that we are done with the explanation of the entire poem, let us have a quick recap of what we learnt from the beginning. We have read an acorn telling about the journey of its becoming an oak tree by itself. It was sown under the ground. Slowly, with every passing day, it grew in its size and the root came out. It went deep within the ground. Meanwhile, the seed started shooting. The young stem came out from the seed and then came the leaves which were preparing the onset of the mighty oak tree to come. Within years, it became a full-grown oak tree. The strength of the forest on which the forest will take pride. Okay? Here is the jotted down list of the new words learned from this chapter. First one is acorn, sank, mossy, improving, hidden, sipped, dew, downward, thread-like, sprang, shoot, slender, mighty. Alright. With this, we are going to finish this class. I hope the poem is clear to you along with the meanings of the new words. All the probable questions have been discussed. Write the new words in your vocabulary copy as it had been mentioned by Madhuparna ma'am. Also write the meanings of the words and of course write it in English. The question answers of this chapter will soon be uploaded in the school website. For that, keep following the site. We will return soon with some another topic. Till then, stay at home and be safe. Thank you.